I miss you guys all so much. It's such a beautiful day out today. I thought we'd do a little what's in bloom session so you can see what's blooming around my backyard. So let's get started. Over here is one of my favorite flowers or plants. It's a coral bell. And you can see that the, the flowers aren't very big. They're just kind of tiny and they haven't quite bloomed yet. But the bees and the hummingbirds just love this. And I have um, a resident hummingbird family that lives up in the big tree in my backyard. So I see them down here often. So I've also got this Indian plum, which is kind of past its prime with flowers, but you can see it's starting to develop its little berries. Um, it's a native here, so it's good to have these. It's good for the animals that live around here. I've also got some wonderful honeysuckle over here. I'm just waiting for it to all bloom and for the weather to warm up a little bit more so that you can smell that sweet nectar that's inside of those. It almost fills my entire backyard. It's just this intoxicating, wonderful smell. So I can't wait for that. All of the bluebells are going crazy this year. I have white ones and pink ones and purple ones. And then down here is some lemon balm. And if you rub this and smell this, it's a great little fragrance. It's uh, also kind of mosquitoes don't like it very much so I like to have it around the backyard kind of deter the mosquitoes I've got some more honeysuckle over here so again I can't wait for that warm weather to hit warm up a little bit and that scent just to pop out and then I was so excited last week that the dogwood trees popped open they're just gorgeous I've got two over in my backyard and they're just delightful. So I'm excited about that. A little bit of information. Did you know that those pink blossoms aren't the flower of the dogwood tree? It's actually auxiliary leaves. So that's not even the flower. So that's kind of interesting. I've got a little flower here. And if you see in the middle, that middle part there, those are actually the flowers of the dogwood. So when they pop open, all those little nubs have little flowers in them. They're little kind of white nondescript flowers, but that's the actual flower of the dogwood tree. Over here, I've got another nice native. This is a flowering currant. We've got this at the front in Lambert House as well, a couple of them. I just love those fuchsia, flowers and they pop pretty early so you see them in February and March and April as well so they're kind of a nice early color. I've also got this lovely plant. It's called a Japanese rose. I've got it in this big pot here. Um, I started it from a cutting and just haven't decided where I want to put it so it's still living in its pot. Um, but it'll find a home at some time. I have a bunch of these red twig dogwoods in my backyard. They're also native. They're good to have. And you can see the flowers are just getting ready to pop. Oh, actually, I think one of the flowers is popped right open there. So they're called a red twig dogwood. As you can see, the twigs are red. I've also got another one of these coral bells over here. They're really delightful. Uh, again, they like the shade, but they'll like the sun. Um, if you water them enough, I th think there's a couple little critters, some snails or something eating away on my leaves. Over here, I've got some, it's some uh, uh, ground cover, some strawberry ground cover. You can see those little yellow blossoms. They produce these tiny little strawberries that don't taste very good, but the birds sure love them, so it's good to have in it keeps those weeds down. And then I also have my rhododendron. So my rhodi bloomed. It's this pink red color um, and it's just delightful to have around. So well I thought I would just drop you a little video 
and show you what's blooming around my backyard. So take care and be well and stay safe out there. I miss y'all. Bye.